So this is going to be a video response to a video I watched by Miramon just a couple minutes ago, actually. And um, I think you should go watch it because I found it very interesting. And if you don't, you're not really going to know what I'm talking about. So just click on my hand to watch it. And um, so after you have know, watched it, um, <laughs> Phil sort of described his setting as, you know, everything happening in one structure. I sort of had a different experience because um like Phil pictured an ice cube. When he said cube I pictured a small, just white block made of some sort of metal material. Just sitting in the middle of the desert. <coughs> and when he said ladder, my ladder was just a wooden ladder that was sort of just it appeared to be leaning against something, but it wasn't leaning against the cube. It was just standing on its own and it was a lot bigger than the cube. And my horse, which is a brown one, who's just standing there, just minding his own business. And then the storm starts to come, and all the cube and the ladder just stay still. My horse starts to just um, whip out and run towards me, the perspective viewer. <laughs> and he's whinnying and going nuts and just running away. And, um, and when he said something about flowers, I really didn't picture any flowers, and I didn't know where to put them in my scene, so they just really weren't there. And, um, so this was my representation of what my scene meant. Um, the cube being the very small, very quaint, very quiet. Um, I guess it means that you can't see right through me because I'm not ice. And that I'm not complex, but I'm simple, and, and just sort of out of everybody's way, which I think does describe me a lot because I really don't. And when the storm comes, I don't really react in any brash way. I still just stay where I am, and I stay myself, which I think is very true to me. The latter, which is supposed to represent your friends were just standing on their own. They really had nothing to do with me, which I think means that my friends would be there. But I don't rely on them and they don't rely on me. We're, we're just a safe distance from each other. But we do acknowledge each other, and, and which is true because I mean, I don't rely on my friends much because I'm not a very trusting person and they don't rely on me. They don't have any really close friends like that that would really rely on me that deeply. So, yeah, and they pretty much stand on their own and when I'm there with them, we are one body, but other than that, which, yeah, that was very unique. The um the storm is supposed to represent hard times and when the storm came I did cube obviously didn't react, which makes sense. The ladder fell though when the storm came, so I think my friends are a lot different than me in that way in how you react to stress. And um flowers And the flowers are supposed to represent um, children, and they weren't present anywhere in my picture, which is odd because um, they're present in this picture. <laughs> um, I guess it means that maybe children are not, will never be a serious part of my life, which is weird because I sort of always just assumed that they would be. But, you know, obviously this doesn't decide anything. But, yeah, I don't think you mentioned what the horse would represent, so now I'm drawing a blank. So yeah. I'm gonna go back and rewatch rewatch the little oh rewatch that video and find out what my scared little horse is supposed to mean. Um <coughs> I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did because I found it very interesting. I love psychological things like that. Um I hope you're having a marvelous time. Oh marvelous time and uh, I'll see you next time bye